Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. It's getting really close to Valentine's Day, and guess what? I'm a single Pringle. First of all, I want to point out my eyebrows do not look good at all. I used something different today, and it, they just... They look really janky. That's besides the point. Um, I don't exactly know what look I'm gonna do today. So let's just get started. So first I need to take off my makeup and I did not wear these eyebrows out. Like I just did them. So I'm gonna leave my eyebrows on and I did like carve out the top. So I'm gonna like leave that and then just carve the bottom out. I think the main focal point of this look will be like the eyes and it's not gonna be like a wearable everyday look I don't think it's fine it's Valentine's Day it's time to spiffy things up well um my eyebrows are now carved out and set and if you're a new viewer trust me I don't normally do my eyebrows like this I literally never do my eyebrows like this and plan on never doing them like this again anyways um now let's just get onto the eyeshadow I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do but I'm not sure if I'm gonna follow through with it but we'll just see what I come up with so I'm gonna go into the NYX ultimate brights palette and take this pink and just go in with it I think I'm gonna do a cut crease so I'm just gonna start putting it around my crease area I guess so I'm kind of just building up the color I'm kind of also winging it out a little bit and I'm really not sure how much this is doing, but I'm taking Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance and just like putting it, kind of deepening up the crease a little bit. Um, but that's like not doing anything. At this point, I'm kind of just ruining it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my Morphe 432 brush. And I'm also going to do a full cut crease. Not going to lie, really proud of how these cut creases turned out. They're pretty even. I haven't done a cut crease in so long, so that's really surprising. Now I'm going to set it as quickly as I can with the powder from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This next part is so scary, but I'm going to go in with the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner, the pink one, and try to do a wing. This is going to be so scary. Now this is a decent wing. Now let's do the other one. Okay, my eyelids definitely feel tight. <laughs> from this eyeliner which is really weird but they like are kind of sisters kind of and I'm also really tempted to take a white eyeliner and like outline the wing I feel like that's really risky but I'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> this look is really going downhill <laughs> really my only hopes right now are mascara I really hope it just comes together with mascara but I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line I'm just taking the pink shade that we used earlier just running under my eyes for primer I'm using the benefit professional primer just putting it in places that I have the most pores, which is pretty much my cheek area, kind of my nose, forehead, chin. Phone just found storage. The foundation I'm gonna be using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Also, if you're hearing the air conditioning, I know it's really loud, I'm sorry. But I think I'm gonna try to go for some full coverage. I'm gonna use my Tarte Tape Tape for concealer. So, I, I, I'm really trying to make this work. I really am. Like I said, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape for concealer. Putting that, like, I think just under my eyes. And to set everything in place, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I'm trying to use up this powder in here. It's really good. The bronzer's really good. The powder's really good. Oh my gosh. The eyeliner is just flaking off. Do you guys have any good, like, colorful eyeliners that, are, that like, don't flake off? Please leave it below because these I always have a hard time with them because they just like to flake off and that's disgusting. I'm going to be using two bronzers today. I'm using the Hoola Light first, kind of not precisely. Then I'm going to use the bronzer in the Wet n Wild little contouring palette. Use that to kind of deepen up my cheekbones more. With this, I just kind of plop all over my face. I like to use a more like precise-ish brush for like darker bronzers. I'm going to use the Tarte Blissful Blush. It's a really hot pink because, you know, monochromatic. I really should have probably done this before I powdered my face, but I'm using the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam for highlighter because it's like a pinky tone highlighter. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, 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 that was a lot. I'm going to try to make it work. Okay, I kind of made it work today, but it's still not really blended on the edges. But it's fine, it's fine. Now I'm moving on to mascara. So I'm using the Essence of Lash Princess, the False Lash Effect one. Of course, you guys know it's my favorite. And um, then we're going to move on to lips, which I'm super excited about. 
Here comes the fun part. I'm now going to use my Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This was sent to me through Octoly from Ofra Cosmetics. Really thankful for this. You guys can use the code OFRA30 if you guys want to get 30% off. It's, it'll be on the screen and in the description. So it's in the shade Atlantic City. It's super pigmented and it really lasts, but it's not like over drying at all. It's really moisturizing. I'm not getting any money from the code. It's literally just a code um, that you guys can use to save some money. So why not? Um, but overall, I really, really like this lipstick. It's super good. It does dry down, but it's not over drying. And also, it smells really good. And that is my honest opinion, so I would highly recommend it. And so, I think I'm also going to add some, like, three little hearts with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick also to make it more Valentine's Day, which I think will be really cool. Hopefully, they'll turn out. So this is how the hearts turned out. I think they turned out really good. I really like how it goes with the look. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. And if you guys recreate this look, then make sure to tag me in it or send me a picture of it. My makeup Instagram is always down below. So if you guys recreate it, make sure to tag me with that account. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'll never stop